Welcome, one and all. Not all of you. Only one of you, actually. I'm going to welcome. Welcome, one of you. Get Figure out amongst yourselves who it's going to be. Um, in the, This is Minecraft 62. Previously on Minecraft 61, we found a, a location for a slime farm. Well, I mean, we finished our work over the village, but that's boring, right? Because now we're doing cool shit. So um, we are ready to build our slime farm. I have determined through the use of Cheaty software, the, or I guess Cheaty website that this is the chunk where slimes will spawn um spawn slimes only spawn under the coordinates uh y equals 40 so it has to be y uh equals 40 or less where i build this farm and um they spawn in any light level which is really convenient because i can just brighten the fuck out of my little rooms and uh it will make sure that only slimes spawn in this chunk uh the problem with this location is that i'm not close to it like a lot of my work is going to be over there so I'm going to have to probably do some AFK sessions over here. Uh, maybe one or two. Uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, I will I'll was totally planning on AFKing during the season anyways. This might be my first thing that I actually have to AFK. Um, but we are a far ways away from that buckaroony. So let's uh, start coming over here. Oh, there's icebergs here. I, I forgot about that actually. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to prepare to get down to uh, Y equals. My inventory is totally fine. Actually, my inventory is so fucked I'm going to go clear it out. Because uh, I am going to... How many pickaxes? I only have one pickaxe. Um, I The plan here is uh, to clear out a lot of blocks. Which means I need a lot of inventory space. Um, but we, before we do that, we need ladders. Actually, I should check my ladder supply too. I might have a lot of ladders. I mean, there wouldn't really be a point in making a shit ton of ladders if, uh, if I had a bunch ready to roll. So, we'll see uh, if I have some. I don't know what I would have made them for. Like, why would I have ladders? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I do. doesn't look... I have a lot of dirt. Jesus, where's all this dirt from? Fuck me. No ladders. No ladders. Okay. So let's put, uh, this cobblestone back as much as I can, at least. And, uh, I guess I don't... I, I have very rudimentary sorting, so I guess I don't need to be too, um, too worried about how I'm storing these. I guess the only special places I have would be for this, uh this log and the sapling so uh, i guess that's fine um god i i can put my iron there yeah there we go okay uh, oh wait no my seeds i need my seeds oh and pumpkin seeds well i guess uh we'll worry about that later um seeds go here and wood goes here and sapling there okay there we go so uh yeah no ladders and i don't have a lot i mean i have a reasonable amount of wood it's not like a shit ton of wood I want a stack of wood. Let's go get, like, a... Uh, yeah, let's go get, like, a stack of ladders. Or, like, a stack of wood and then turn that into ladders. That's the game plan. So, we'll come out here. Totally ravage this forest. Because I'm probably going to clear it out for farms anyways at some point. So, you know, let's start sooner rather than later. And you know what? You know what? This tree... Actually, I'm going to save that. This tree's been bothering me. The, I, I've not said anything. I've not said anything. I've been such a good boy. I've not been saying a single word. This tree has been driving me insane so much. I cannot wait until I can chop it down. It's just always in the way of my beautiful vistas. And it's a big tree, which means it looks gross. I hate it. I've just been like, okay, all you have to do, just wait. Just wait until you build the new greenhouses and you can chop it down. I can't. It's it's so hard to wait, man. It's so hard to wait. I cannot wait to tear that fucking tree down. Okay, this is a little... This, I mean, it's a big tree, but it's probably the littlest big tree I've ever seen, so... That's convenient. Uh, this is going to be really obnoxious with an iron axe, but I'm just so used to having better equipment. But, uh, you know what? We'll acclimate to having iron tools very quickly, I, I figure. Because uh, that's just kind of what happens in these worlds. Uh, let's keep, let's just uh, chop down until we get a stack of this oak here. And then we'll turn this oak into some beautiful ladders. And then we'll turn those ladders into a beautiful uh, slime farm eventually. Very far down the line. So, here we go. Let's get a stack here. And, uh, I guess I'll go over... I was going to kind of explain how this slime farm works, but it's not very complicated. I'll just explain it as I make it. Uh, this is going to be one of those projects where I'm going to need to find things to talk about. Because, uh, there's going to be a lot of digging, folks. There's going to be a lot of digging involved with this farm. And it's not going to be interesting. So we're going to have to find, uh, things to talk about. Uh, I just saw... 1917. There we go. That's a thing to talk about. It is uh, it was, uh, not what I was expecting it to be, actually. I'm not going to lie. 
I was kind of expecting a war movie. I was kind of expecting you to walk in. World War One has happened. Oh my god! You know the trailers made it look like action this Sunday monster truck rally. You know, like like the trailers kind of made it seem like a war movie, but it was not a war movie at all. I mean, it was. I mean, it was, it was war movie, very strictly speaking. But um, you know, I'm not going to chop any more wood because then I'm going to have over a stack, and then you know, who wants that? So um, it was basically a movie that was set in a war that had to do with people participating in a war but was not a war movie in terms of like what you would typically associate with that genre so it was uh it was it was good because war movies are exceptionally boring to me and i'm very glad i didn't have to uh experience a war movie i didn't need to break that very happy about that it's, it's a great day actually when you don't have to deal with war movies let's get one more oak here um, and I guess I don't have much to say about it. I mean, it's just about a guy wandering across the world in search of love. So, uh, wait, why did I not, did I not, hang on, hang on. I have, I have many questions. Did I not have, but did I have 62? I can't really see very well because my resolution gets cut off. I must have had 62. That's okay. So, uh, it was, uh, I would give it. A 6 out of 10 story-wise, and it was like a 7 out of 10 because the... Uh, I, I, as far as I could tell... Now, I'm not a, like a movie guy, right? I'm not like a movie... I'm not Emerald the movie genius. Oh, that was way... That was... Whew, that was superfluous amounts of ladders. That was a grave error. I thought I needed a stack. Apparently, I needed half a stack. I only wanted a stack and half a ladder. Well, you know what? I am... We are very good on ladders now, so... Good for us. Oh... <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, uh, as far as I could tell, there may have been two, there, there may have been, oh, don't, don't mind the notifications, alright, that's fine, don't worry about it. Um, there may have been more of these than I noticed, but to my knowledge, as best I could tell, there were only two shots in the entire movie. Legitimately, each shot was just a rolling shot, you know, like how they do, like, the cameras, like, here, and it, like, follows the person, like, oh, this person's now walking down the hill. And the camera never, uh, it, it never cuts, you know. It doesn't change to, like, another perspective, like, here. Like, what? You ate all the lettuce? And it, like, changes. Yes, the lettuce is gone, Wilfred. Right? Like, it, it, was, it just, like, it just slowly followed the person. Like, there was not a single cut. And it did this for, like, 45 minutes. Un if that genuinely happened, and I'm just not being, like, stupid and see where the cuts were. There was only two shots in the whole movie. Each one was about 45 minutes long. Like, holy Christ alive, dude. That is... That... The amount of skill it takes to execute that is beyond me. Unbelievable talent. Um, so that took, took it up to, like, a 7. Or possibly maybe an 8. Because that's just so cool that they did that. But I'm, I'm saying 7 out of 10. It was a good movie. It was good. Um, I don't have much else to say about it. Uh, so this chunk is where the slimes are going to spawn. Um, I am going to just kind of dig down. I'm going to choose a corner. Um, and I th I guess... Uh, I don't know. I, it doesn't really matter which corner I choose. It just has to feel right. And this feels right to me. I want this one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start digging down here. And we're just going to go all the way to Y equals 5. Right, right now we're at Y equals 68. Uh, the reason I choose Y equals 5 is because, um, uh, I don't know, there's no reason. <laughs> it's just the lowest you can physically go and still have an even floor. That's the first layer Bedrock spawns on, so that's what I'm going to do. I should also uh, get my ladders set up so that I know how to escape out of here. And I'm just doing the little, uh, also let's, uh, let's put a torch here so that we kind of can find this later. Um, just right there is fine. And, um... Yeah, so uh, just going to continue to dig. And we're going to just dig all the way down to bedrock. All the way down. And it's going to take a while. And then we'll just pillar back up. Uh, just need to get all these down. And then what we're going to do down there is we're going to dig out the whole layer. And then we're just going to start digging our way up. That's the game plan. No, that will be fucking dope. Just put some torches on the way down, just so that we can see. I should have gotten more torches, but, uh, you know. Hey, I need this. I actually need a lot of iron. I'm probably going to need to go caving before this is all said and done, so. It's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Eh. Eh. Got it. 
Um, yeah, because the, the slime farms do need a lot of iron. I need probably three and a half stacks or so. It's not like a lot of iron, but for early game, that's a lot of iron, right? I don't have that sitting around. I, I, I actually, I might. I have a lot of iron. Actually, I, I have like, I think I have two and a half stacks. So, you know, we, we might be doing all right for ourselves is all I'm saying. We might be doing all right. Um, still uh, don't have any diamond gear, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, that'll, that'll be a future project. Eventually, I'll just go mining until I get all the diamonds I need. Um, it'll be way easier when I get fortune. Uh, that'll be the dream. I also need a lot of materials for the uh, enchantery that I eventually will build. Um, actually, I'm probably going to build it very soon because I need to work on getting fortune on my pickaxe. So um, Then once I get fortune, I can begin... Oh, crumpets. Uh, that's a shame. I was kind of expecting it to last longer than that, actually, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll eventually, we'll figure that out. We just need to get fortune, then we can start digging out diamonds like, like motherfuckers. I just need to go get another, uh, pickaxe. Yeah, and some torches. I need a hell of torches. I'll go get two pickaxes. And, um, hopefully we should, I think that you get enough slime, or enough iron from the slime farm to pay yourself back. It does take a lot of, uh, pickaxes to make a slime farm. I'm probably gonna go through, like, maybe 16 or so pickaxes, but I think I get enough iron back from all the digging. To where uh, that won't be an issue, so that's pretty good, I think. Still don't see any Endermen. We have nine Ender Pearls. I checked briefly as I was orienting myself between episodes. I was just curious. I was just curious. I just wanted to see. We have nine, so uh, we're actually pretty. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that's not lit up at all. Okay. Uh, we're gonna come in here. Why? Why am I coming in here? Uh, well, I guess we can drop off our iron for whatever that's worth. Drop that off. Um, we need torches. Is that creeper? I'm terrified of that creeper. Um, we need hella torches, right? We also need hella sticks. We need, uh, that many sticks. No, <laughs> maybe that's, that's not quite hella, but it's something. Uh, there we go. Put all that away if I can. I can't. Uh, we need iron and coal. That's what I need. I have coal here. Um, we need 14. I'll take that there. I'll make a stack. Um, iron, iron, iron. And also we could try to put this away. There we go. Yeah, we'll get shit tons of cobble from this project alone, actually. I forgot about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's two stacks of iron. Yeah, it's, we have two stacks of iron, so we're, we're doing all right. Eventually, we need to fucking get a storage going, because this is obnoxious. <laughs> Everything's so separated. Okay, so uh, that's doing all right for ourselves. Let's head back out into the wastelands out here. Maybe we'll find an Enderman if we're lucky. We might not. We probably won't, but I can always hope and dream. Um, and we're actually nowhere even remotely close to uh, needing to do an Enderman hut, so I don't need to be on this as hard as I am, but in my opinion, the sooner that I get 14 Ender Pearls, the better. I like taking 14 in. I don't need to. You only really should need 12, because if any break, usually they're replaced by whatever's inside the portal. Ow! Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I really don't want to get involved with any of these Repscallions because I am rocking a whole lot of leather armor right now. So I'm trying to not fight <laughs> because, as you can see, I have three and a half armor points. I'm just using all my old armor. Uh, I have some iron armor, but I'm just, you know, I'm using this because I have it. So uh, it's it's been rough. It's been rough, folks. Um, let's put a torch here. And uh, keep digging down to carry out our last minute. And, uh, yeah, this will be cool. Because then after we get this, we can start getting leads. And then once you get leads, you can do other shit. And once you do other shit, you can start doing other shit. It's pretty cool. It's a good uh, it's a good starting point. We need some slime. We need us some slime. So we're pretty close to five here. Five is the first layer. Well, I guess four is technically the first layer. But uh, it's Y equals five. There we go. We're at Y equals five now. Congratulations. We're at the first layer of bedrock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably put a torch here. Eh. And uh, we'll go ahead and ladder our way up. And we will go ahead and fix the dig straight downing that we did. Actually, I can't because... Um... Oh, fuck. I need to make this a little higher. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Um, I've totally fucked up everything. Okay. There we go. So, um, 
let's go ahead and dig this chunk out. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, this is just to get the farming layer down. So there's a layer of, uh, uh we're going to do a lot of these types of layers here. And that's how we're going to uh, be kind of constructing the farm, so to speak. And um, also there's, I will get some nice supplies from this. Like I said, I, I will be repaying myself back in iron for all the iron I used to build this thing. Um, but uh, this, the point of this layer is this is just the layer where we're going to be, um, uh, we're going to come down and this is where we're going to actually retrieve the slime from. Don't worry about those steam notifications, okay? Don't worry about it. This is, this is, this happens. This is part of my life, all right? So, um, oh! Um, okay. We're gonna, this just got saucy. All right, so in the next episode, um, shit. I'm getting a lot of notifications, actually. Someone really wants to talk. Um, in the next episode, I'll figure it out. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that lava, and we're, we'll keep digging out this, uh, bottom layer here. And, uh, we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.